Well, look, here's the thing. I mean, I, I, we're talking usually weeks at this point, but the segue into like voice acting replacement and uh, we, Pat, we spoke to Guy Sihi uh, a while ago, right? And um, okay, so like, I don't know why I just started laughing. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna dive right into it before we move on. It is a known fact that voice actors, for some re- first of all, voice actors don't give a shit about about fucking talking about whatever the fuck's going on. They'll just tell you anything. You get a hold of, of somebody from some big name project that doesn't exist, and you ask them if they're on that project. But like, yeah, I totally did it last week. They'll just fucking tell you. Don't give a shit. Second is they have a weirdly higher proportion of um, the average person of being like insane, just like completely crazy people. Uh, Guy Sihi is one of those people. Um, we had him in the podcast, and like right before we started the podcast, he's like, "Hey, by the way, can you guys just never swear? I just really, I just really don't like it if you guys swear." Which led to the that <laughs> goofy like scariness. Mar- I don't know what we called it, like spook, 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 tornado spook, of spookiness spook or something. Move. <laughs> yeah. um now and to then, be fair we were mi- we were we also got that from somebody mid-panel uh at yeah. a convention oh, that was, on that stage was as we were talking into a microphone someone walked up and went cut out the swearing yeah um and then he started so. he then he he like blew the reveal of his own role in the game he was working on like a day beforehand so before the podcast went live they announced him being in it on facebook like later that day and then sh- I don't even remember what we talked about, but I remember it being strange, and then him going all anti-vax and just just well, that wasn't, shit. That wasn't on the podcast. Uh, we had a we had no, a normal, later. we had a normal conversation about about how he got the role, and uh, so so guy see he's never was, coming back. It was never, a nice chat. He's never he's never coming back. He was he was James Sunderland for one game, and he was the the face and the voice and the mocap, et cetera. Uh, but now we've got new Silent Hill too, and um, everything about Konami's announcement of the new Silent Hill project was carefully designed to make you just have no faith in it at all. Uh, Susie, it I know was, you watched uh, it live. Yeah, I, uh, I, you know, I, I made a big tweet about it too, where I said like, you know, if you're looking forward to it. Don't let anyone deter you. It doesn't look like it's going to be for me. Like, I'll just enjoy the original, you know? Like, I'd love everyone else to as well. But if I had to give an honest opinion, I think that Silent Hill 2 looks very cringe for a lot so, of different reasons. There, and there's... one of the first things I did say on my stream was, is Guy Sihi going to get mad about this? Maybe. Maybe he doesn't care. It's it's tough to, tough to say for the types <laughs> of old-time voice actors that did, like, one role for a Japanese game and then disappeared into the ether but like that 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 showcase was oh god so it wasn't it wasn't like a a sonic like anniversary show in which that fucking buzzing is there and it's cringe and all that shit it's not konami at e3 in which it's so laughably ill-produced that it feels like total amateurs but it was it was like calculated but lazy in a Can way I tell that you guys something a little inside baseball and she said this publicly so i'm okay saying it uh my friend selena was the host on that show and uh that's what i was the most excited to to see mm-hmm. and, you know she told me like the day before like oh i'm gonna be on the silent hill thing so i was like oh i'll watch it for that for you um mm-hmm. she said publicly that all of the english um script was changed on the spot when they were on oh, the God. set by her and all the other english speakers so okay. when you say it's it felt lazy <laughs> like it just, it just feels like lazily i put so together i like, didn't yeah, i'm not referring to the dialogue so i only saw the trailers for the games i didn't see the stage okay. show but it sounds like i guess there was yeah. it was it was weird so i'm not referring to the dialogue i'm referring specifically to the themes and like bullet points of the presentation as they went so the very first thing that happens is they're playing music so f- fucking loud as part of the presentation that you cannot hear the presenters so they have subtitles on so thank god because you can't hear them the audio mixing is crazy shit Mm. 
Um, and now I'm remembering that's not what the first thing. The first thing that happens that give you like the best possible experience was it's a YouTube uh, thing, and it's like it's going to go live on YouTube at 1:50 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, and 1:50 p.m. rolls around. And it's not a YouTube premiere. It's just a video. And the video, video has 10 minutes of buildup on it that you then just skip past because it's <laughs> just a YouTube video and it's not a premiere. Because whoever put it together did not know what a YouTube premiere was. They just, like, uploaded it. Oh, boy. So <laughs> that's... That, mm. um, uh, so, so... I No, I just... I, I, I'm, I'm curious because, look, hey, I'm new to the party, right? I'm new to the room. I'm I'm I just got through the trilogy for the first time, and uh, those games are pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. So I I don't know what the 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 perspective on the series uh, is from anything post three, except for, yeah the long form feeling. except for the the osmosis feelings of despair and sadness and downpour mm -hmm. homecoming etc. Um, and then of course the ones that I was testing. Um, but, uh, I, the f overall feeling I got was this is an aggressive, uh, uh, attempt from Konami to be like, let's undead, uh, Silent Hill after the PT fiasco and let's mm -hmm. undead it by announcing like five things at the same time. Aggressively. It's way worse than that. It's way like, worse the than that. reason and is worse. They, they actually say the real reason out loud in the presentation, and it's why it's so <laughs> awful. Okay. So they show us the Silent Hill 2 trailer, which uh, ends with, like, the shot of, like, James looking at Mary's giant head in the sky. <laughs> yes. Which She's made heaven, me guys. lose it. Yeah. It's, the, also, it's it ends like, with a – it literally ends with a fart noise, too. Yeah. Like <laughs> – No, so, it doesn't. Come on. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> it watch it. Rewatch it. There's a loud fart noise. <laughs> so you're looking at it and you're like, this is worrying because Bloober Team's problem is subtlety and craft. And it's like the least subtle fucking thing in the world. It's like hitting the same beats, but it's like with hitting them with a hammer. And you're like, okay, yeah. well, we're going to reserve judgment. We only saw a little bit. They show Laura, but they don't let Laura talk, which dodges the thing I said last week in which we're going to see Laura talk and it's going to be a 35 year old woman pretending to yeah. be a little girl instead of an actual mean. child. You did, you did say that. <laughs> and then they say, well, the reason why we're bringing Silent Hill back is to help promote the new movie Return to Silent Hill. Oh, no. With Christoph Gans and the producer of the Resident Evil movies on it. And then they show this long form interview with Christoph Gans and uh, the producer where they don't say anything other than <sighs> we're very excited to come back to Silent Hill, but it's been 16 years and we always wanted to make Silent Hill yeah, 2, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. It'll be so good. And then my favorite quote is it comes off of that at the end. And like we're coming off the movie and the presenter is like, man, that movie's going to be great. We can only hope that the <laughs> game is as good as the new movie. Like and that says it right there about what it's all about. Silent Hill Two remake. Is Sorry, hold on. Is that a it fart? Is... <laughs> oh yeah, he's listening to it. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. I'm telling you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Distorted. It's a horror fart, but sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, so then, then they show off uh, the two spinoff games, which look interesting. They're by different devs. They're yes. by yeah, uh, yeah. completely different devs. I am friends the, with the with the director of uh, Silent Hill F. Um, so. Okay. Yeah. So there's that, a couple. That looks there's a couple the most of interesting by far. Mm -hmm. But but so the, they say straight up in the presentation, which again I I just I like I jump to trailers, man. But they say this is all just about the movie push. Yes, the movie came first, oh, and then they're like, well, man. let's revitalize Silent Hill around the movie. Oh, that's brutal. Which, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, they did that already with uh, yeah. Silent Hill Revelation 3D with um, yep. the HD collection and uh, yep. Downpour, which were great games, by the way. Just phenomenal mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 games. And so it wasn't, a, <laughs> it wasn't a sudden realization <laughs> that they were sitting on something gold and beloved, and we should appreciate it for what it is you know my 
You yeah. know, my favorite part about this whole thing was, Wooly, do you remember last week in which I described uh, a question of how is uh, who just how is it decided who gets to work on Silent Hill? And I said, well, here's how it's decided. An Eastern European developer comes to Konami with a demo that they have built. And they say, boy, we sure love Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3. And we would love to be part of the future of this franchise. And we will do it for $20. And Konami goes, yeah, okay, sure. And that is how every single Silent Hill game after 4 got greenlit and made. Mm. And then they literally tell a version of the same story in this presentation for how they chose Bloober Team, mm. in which the team came to them with a fucking prototype and said, oh, boy, we love Silent Hill so much. We would love to remake Silent Hill, too. Look, we made other games that are kind of like it. And then under, in brackets, parentheses, implicit, uh, but we will make it for cheapsies because our dollar isn't very strong out here in Eastern Europe slash Poland. Um we so give us Silent Hill too. Alessa's bedroom in the medium. Look at it. We can mm. do it, guys. Just trust us, please. <laughs> I, I, I guess I just uh, from seeing that trailer and hearing about you know the the previous Bloober experiences and and whatnot and and the um, well whatever the the low tier god dot zip <laughs> that uh, the, <laughs> that that game is about. Um, I for, it seems. Providing that they just stick to this and not change anything, and it and it is just shot for shot, but yeah, better. So here's um, here's my problem with that. Uh, so I, I I well just to finish the thought, I, I kind of was like, mm. oh, I could see that being all right. That's that's the I watch a trailer, and I was like, okay, lighting is, right. is sharp. I could see that being all right, providing nothing changes that much, you know. So there's a part before they move off to Silent Hill 2, where they want to like, hey guys, it's gonna be really great. Let's go talk to the people making it. And the people they decide to talk to is they cut to Masahiro Ito, he walks onto the screen and goes, I am working on the character designs for Silent Hill 2 Remake, and I am excited. And my brain goes, those character designs are fucking done. They were done yeah. 20 years ago. There's nothing to do. You could use the original sketches and just 3D model them at a higher fidelity. And then they go over to, here is who else is working on it. <laughs> and they cut to Akira Yamaoka, who's going, oh, man, I am loving redoing the soundtrack for Silent Hill to remake. I'm going to make a whole new soundtrack, but it will be the same soundtrack, but it'll be a new soundtrack. And I go, okay, he's a talented musician, and Ito's a talented character designer. And then they cut, and then they talk for like a long time, and the interesting thing is it's like a, like 20 minutes before they get to, hey, how about we talk to a single human being at Bloober Team? And mm. then when they cut to people at Bloober Team, it's like the director, and I think the art director, and, they're, and it's, we're really excited. Cut. Mm-hmm. To work on Silent Hill 2. And they showed a excited. gray box footage of the game. Like the actual yeah. game that you're supposed to play. And it's like, oh, this probably isn't even anywhere Like near. it feels all smoke and mirrors. If Yeah. And, okay. It, uh, no, because I was going to say, like, when, well, when it comes to music and, and art, like, if you just grab the, the old one and it's a new game and stuff, so, like, rehiring the artist, rehiring the music, the the music director and, and the art director and having them work on it in a full capacity is like a better thing to do than just kind of going like oh we can just grab the old mm -hmm. one and it'll be fine like it, you know but um whatever i guess the 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 uh -huh. whatever bloober does if like i said if it ends up being like a blue point type situation where it's just like yeah. there's nothing to contribute creatively except for like you know lighting changes here and there well they're changing the camera angle so they're doing a behind the shoulder kind of thing okay yeah. so there's at least that okay which um, is interesting because i would i i feel like i would have liked it more if they did sort of like the semi-fixed like like over overhead camera that silent hills always had so silent hill 2 has Blooper Team Sorry, has you... experience doing that with the medium. Mm -hmm. Like the medium is a fully fixed camera angle game. And that's like the one thing I love about that game. Like everything else I kind of don't, I just kind of hate it. But it just like, I feel like it would have, I like for Silent Hill specifically, like it, it, I feel like there would be more like, I guess, artistic integrity there. Like It's more a really interest. bad pick because Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3, I mean, Willie, you just ran through them. They are the, they are the games with fixed camera angles 
that fuck with the camera angles the most. Yeah. There are so many rooms you enter into in which your character is looking at you and you're just given yeah. like a weird claustrophobic mm -hmm, shot. Mm -hmm, in Silent mm -hmm. Hill 1, when you're walking through the streets, the street, you get at like the back alley, camera that back angles alley from shot. like underneath a lawnmower and shit yeah, like that. That was the first one that made me go, oh, we're doing things interesting here. But not when you're running around the town. When you're running around the town, that yeah. is a third person game. Like yeah. Gen 1, you know, uh, not Gen 1, but whatever. Uh, third person PlayStation game. Like camera is fully on a swivel. Um, and if the over the shoulder stuff was for those moments, that would make sense. But if it's for everything else, then that does change the experience quite a bit. Yeah. And, and you know, to, to add to your point, like the literal like one shot that looked completed that they showed was James walking around the town. But they did show gray box footage of him like aiming a gun over the shoulder mm -hmm. at a nurse. So I don't, um, know. <laughs> I don't know. Like yeah. it, there's, a, there's a million little details. And I'm glad Susie's here for this specifically because... Mm. Resident Evil and the Resident Evil remakes are an excellent comparison. Uh, I was going through it and I was nitpicking the f fucking shit out of it, right? Uh, the nurse design is wrong. It's not different. It's actually literally incorrect because really? the bobblehead doesn't extend down to her neck. She's got bobblehead and then regular like evil skin. Person. Yeah. It's like no, it's she's like supposed to mask. be she's supposed to be a condom wearing a nurse's outfit. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay little stuff like that but also the presentation it's cutting back to old footage of silent hill 2 it's spoiling the whole game like crazy yeah. crazy yeah. spoiling the whole game like it's wild it's a remake announcement and they're like showing like characters dying left and right but the second thing to that is they're using footage from the hd collection and you can tell it's footage from the hd collection because you can pick out the bugs they couldn't get out of the footage but they have a what? shot of my Maria stream. upside down, and you can see the fucking teeth texture in her eyeball. Wait, did, can you actually see it? Because I, yeah. I, I paused it at that point, and I couldn't see the teeth. Did they? Is there another shot where they show the teeth? No, it's it's when she's what, getting what? stabbed upside down, and it's it's the the eye closest to the camera. You can see the fucking teeth to like that. next to the eyelid. Again. That's a bug from um, the collection. Yeah, yeah, and only from HD Alert Collection. Oh. Um, her eye is replaced with a, her teeth stir. Yeah. So oh. all this stupid shit, and um, then you get to, oh man, then you, then you get to my favorite part, which is they take a second before they announce Silent Hill F. They're like, hey guys, let's have a break. We're gonna talk about merchandise. Do you guys want to buy Silent Hill merchandise? And this is probably the best part of the whole presentation. Because the first thing they show off is, bro, you know that meme of James going, Mary's sick, yeah, bitch, so am I, and he's doing a kickflip? Well, guess mm -hmm. what? You too can buy four admittedly excellent looking skateboards yeah. <laughs> that are Silent Hill themed. Okay. Um, sure. And they're like, here's a pyramid head uh, figurine. Uh, here's another pyramid head figurine. Here's a red pyramid thing figurine, which you get to see chat blow their own asshole out because they go, they didn't even get the name right. It's like, actually, the character's name is red pyramid thing, you it's fucking true. idiots. It's true. But my favorite is they're like, here's this crazy, gigantic diorama of one of the most impactful moments <laughs> yeah. in Silent Hill history. Do you remember when Pyramid Head was chasing Maria to the elevator and then he killed her with the great knife, you too can spend hundreds of dollars and get this massive diorama of Pyramid Head attacking Maria at the elevator with the great knife. Not the spear, which is what happens and yeah. is what's real. Uh, no, no, the great knife. So and you I'm spoil like, spoil it, and you don't even know. And it's the wrong what the one. Game is oh doing. no! Yeah. It's like <laughs> they spoil it. They don't even know. Or alternatively, there this is based off of the v new variation in the remake, in which they've changed it to the knife. At which point you go, you fucked it up. It's supposed to be the spear because it preludes the spear stuff at the fucking prison. Because then you're going to be fighting yeah, Pyramid yeah. Head with spears, so you can take his knife because he's not exactly. carrying the knife anymore. Is he gonna like awkwardly like hold the blade and then like stab himself in the 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 the, the, the best the part end? about like him holding the knife is that the 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 hallway's too small for him to swing it. Yeah. Oh. So he literally can't. <laughs> I did see a, a statue of the of the the dog console. 
that's the best thing in the whole fucking presentation. That I looked pretty fucking that. sick. I might get that. <laughs> that looked really cool. Damn. Okay. That it sucks about that other stuff. Shit. It just um, felt like every like every five minutes they were just like, like oh god, mm, Maria's hanging upside minutes, down. Was, oh my god, it was this don't... feeling was like, ah. <laughs> oh. okay. Are you gonna spoil? You spoiled it. Wow. Enjoy the remake, people who haven't played this game. Yeah. Well, I oh, guess when it comes to fun. remakes too, there's two ways to go about it, right? You can either go about it like we're marketing this to everyone who already knows what it is and we don't give a fuck, or or like yeah. we're we're trying to get your nostalgia, or like treating it like oh perfect for getting into getting new people into it you know but um I, I so i guess is it like in a space that's like well kind of like dead space where you're like okay we expected this remake to come here it is it looks like it's not going well but we'll have to see with more footage no, I'm t here's here's what it is silent hill 2 remake is a remake of silent hill 2 but it is also the movie game to return to silent hill which is going to be about james going to find his wife yeah like they are using the term silent hill 2 remake and the fact that it is an old game to confuse the fact that this is a movie tie-in game that is going to be coming out probably alongside the feature film which is probably going to be trash uh i just thought of something mm-hmm um let me ask. Okay. Um, you need to ask that in a lot more detail. I have no idea okay. what you're asking me. I know what you're talking about, <laughs> and I don't think it was. Okay. I don't think they. I don't think they said anything about. It. Okay. Uh. Well. There's. So maybe. Uh, there's. Oh silent... no, it wasn't. No, now I remember. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not. So there was there was uh, uh, that game announced, but then uh, there was also uh, Silent Hill Ascension, uh, Townfall, and F. I I fucking forgot about Townfall. Imagine like an early two thousands Game Informer ad that looks nothing like the game it's advertising, and it just says, "Are you town? Like, are you down? <laughs> Silent Hill, Townfall." Oh God, I, I literally completely fucking forgot. Are you town? Oh man. <laughs> That was the first thing I thought of when yeah. I heard about Townfall. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, like, this game, like, actually deleted <laughs> itself from my mind. I have to go look at it again because I, I can't um, remember what you're talking about. So, Is that the podcast title? <laughs> Are you oh. Town? You saw me, you saw me type it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> the irony, of course, is that Townfall actually looks promising, and the devs have actually made two fairly good spooky horror games prior. It just uh, has the shittiest name of all time. Um, yes. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Susie, I'm, I'm going with the working title. Uh, Attention Bayonetters, are you town? Oh, oh, oh. I, I approve. I approve. <laughs> oh, I hate it. <laughs> Also, oh, I have to say, as, as, a, as, a, as a game that had uh, 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 fucking... As Silent Hill's uh, subtitling problems continue, as we now have, like, Downpour, Homecoming, and Townfall. And for some reason, Downpour and Townfall sound, like, wildly similar. Especially since Henry Townsend is the character from... Like, just fucking... Oh, just stop. Okay. Well, okay, so, so to, uh, to actually elaborate, then... Townfall is um, it's co-produced by Annapurna, No Code Studios, and um, yeah, this one is uh, not a ton in the trailer except for just a shot of a radio and then like someone's mm -hmm. face for like a half second. So um, it's it's nothing to really say about it yet. Um. I guess the the Annapurna part was a bit odd because I'm like they're a publisher, right? Like that's Annapurna, yeah, yeah. No, so... no choice. I think is the the devs. Yeah, uh, no code. No code. 
No, no choice. Whatever. Um, uh, so kind of like, oh, what do, why would they co-publish? But maybe it's because Konami's game wing is non-existent. So working with another publisher can actually help them do the things they can't do anymore. Yeah. They have soccer that they make. <laughs> and pachinko mines. Yes. Um, I want to talk about Silent Hill Ascension. And then next was Ascension, uh, which... The, the Dead uh, by Daylight video so, game. Uh, and they, and uh, Walking Dead as well, right? So oh, Silent Hill yeah. Ascension is uh, described as a community-driven uh, interactive streaming series. Yes. Um, now, what uh, that it started like, off, it, it's it's uh, it's preview with like people talking to each other about, oh, oh no, shit. how to escape in, in text oh, shit, messages. Oh shit, oh shit, you run, yeah. Yeah. So that sounds to me like uh, the worst of a Netflix game, combined with uh, community voting like decisions, and that's about what I would expect of that descriptor. Uh, we got Dusk Golem uh, interviewing one of the people behind the game to clarify what it is. Quote, in basic, a narrative branching choice cloud streaming experiment that is going to be aired once as a mini series to turn tune into and has community made choices affect character relations, fates, and if they live or die. Twitch plays uh, Telltale's Silent Hill. Silent. That had yeah. that that had the funniest. Yeah. Um, hey, let's get a uh, let's get a a quote from the people working on it of yeah. the whole show, in which they're like, J.J. Abrams is working on it. Here's a quote from J.J. <laughs> Abrams in a letter, and it's just, "I am very excited to work on Silent Hill Ascension." End quote. Hey guys, I I love Silent Hill. Like they didn't even get like, like a photo to go with it, and yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure it, he never. He, I'm pretty sure he doesn't know he's working on it. So it says that it's going to shape the canon as well. So like whatever oh, happens is going to. That's gonna... a bunch of bullshit. Well, so the Silent the... Hill canon is even worse than Resident Evil canon. I mean, it just makes me wonder. It's like, okay, so are you going to create a series of outcomes, and are you deliberately, uh, like? Obviously, the most insane, chaotic one will be the one that the audience goes with every single time. Are you prepared for a world where that ends up being the case? You know. Also, does canon really matter when Silent no. Hill has a, a bunch of standalone stories with the connecting thread being the, the no. town and the, the okay. All, All right. with the town is things, evil. By the way, like, evil town, governments, drugs, cults. Um, the only thing that churches. actually matters is town evil. Cool. This time, Pyramid Head Spear pierces through both Maria and James, so ending the broadcast altogether. Fucking hate it so much. Why not just make like a, a, a like a big online game where you all pilot a UFO and you help just destroy Silent Hill as you're being called in for that backup? That would be fucking awesome. Just lean all the way in. You are one of the UFO armada, and your job is to destroy this town, Blast Core style. Just go. <laughs> it really, it really says a lot about all of this project. Is that Masahiro Ito has has been like, you know, he has a Twitter. People know that he worked on those games, and they ask him questions. But ever since this announcement, like, he seems fucking miserable. Yeah. Because he's having to deal with like the Silent Hill community again, and it sucks. <laughs> Right, so uh, the tweet in question, are there a couple of uh, things that came up about this where uh, Ito is straight up just yelling at fools on Twitter who are talking about, um, I guess what I, I didn't know, but so there was a, a fan theory called the Mirror Theory in yeah. which yes. uh, James is apparently looking at you in the mm -hmm. mirror in if you brighten up the... the um, the, the saturation on that scene um, and uh, people are arguing with the art director himself about that being real and he's like no it's fucking not you're creating your own head cannons. where is this coming from yeah and no it, it's literally like if you put the saturation up like yeah James is technically looking at you but they didn't fucking build that scene with that level of saturation it's they, they just posed the model that's just where the mirror with yeah. James happens to look um, 
that like Twitter is really a fucking wild ride where we're in a timeline where like the yeah the fan theory can't just sit it's not just gonna sit there you're gonna take it to the creator and yell at them to say no my fan theory my theory is real now and you have to acknowledge it and I will defeat you with facts and logic <laughs> like it's it's That's crazy so frustrating like yeah um. I mean, this is the same you, uh... guy that literally tweeted, I, I wish I never designed fucking Pyramid Head while he was working on this. Uh, oh, yeah. No, he hates yeah, Pyramid Head. So, yeah, yeah. Like, and the also, what's, my, what's the yeah. best part about it is, like, you see Pyramid Head, like, walking around in the trailer, and my, my gut reaction is the design of Pyramid Head is incorrect. His head is shaped to be, like, the movie version and it's it's his original head is like super wide and super flat yeah. and he's what, supposed what, to be what's weird looking not scary so the movie version has a, a triangular point okay it's 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 a it's a it's a pure it is actually a oh, pyramid head instead of the flat instead of having oh, a really wide right. flat yeah. trapezoid it's like a, a quadrilateral and i'm looking okay. at him like oh this was designed to be more like the movie version and very likely designed to be the the new movie's version so there there's continuity like i don't know how much input ito is having compared to the concept artist on the film mm. which that shit is being brought it's uh, it sucks everything about this sucks it just it like, sucks i don't like it it smells it smells bad i just looked at Ooh. a picture of it and of the pyramid head like the new one and i did not even like register that but you're very right like it's supposed to be like a like a porygon looking thing yeah you know? like pyramid head is supposed to look strange he's he not supposed like to look like a movie panel. monster he's got like one panel on his head is like leather and like sunken in it looks really yeah weird. and he's got a little hole uh at the front left that a little gross thing comes out of sometimes now i very don't, rarely i don't think that let's say silent hill was in the hands of any other uh, company. I don't think that other game studios would have resisted to urge, resisted the urge to turn him into a mascot. But of all the companies to 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 have, make the decisions on something that should be a super personal enemy that should never show up for anyone else in any other context, Konami is the worst possible direction you could go with. So yeah. you say that, and it's actually a really great point that you made because. Uh, I actually cut myself off from my earlier point, which is like, yeah, I'm nitpicking the absolute shit out of it. Susie, when Remake 2 got announced, I'm, we both spent like hours and hours and hours going through every fucking screenshot of footage and be like, ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. And nitpicking it. And yeah, guess yeah. what? We were happy. We we're like, oh, look at the, Oh, they moved the liquor. Ah, oh, he's going to be somewhere else. But the claw marks are still there. Oh, cool. They're messing with our perspective. Hmm. Here, I'm just like, meh. But you yeah, bring up the... Like it's just like Sorry, you feel like a it's just like a feeling of emptiness when you see mm -hmm. it here just because like the company itself was like this is why this exists it's for mm -hmm. you you know where like resident evil has never done that it's it's more just like there's more you know capcom is a mega corporation let's not defend yeah. the mega corporation but oh, there's yeah. more goodwill there i guess if that makes sense like that you know when you see like an re2 remake you just you kind of know that you're gonna get something like so pretty good the know? hope the hope within that sorry 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 it, it's I, just sorry, the, I just because i'm yeah. responding to your earlier you're point. right you're right go on go on go on um capcom made an extraordinarily popular uh a personalized villain in resident evil 2 mm -hmm. with mr x a character mm -hmm. that is never called mr x people just loved him so much they called him mr x and we're calling him that 20 years later and then yeah. when it came to make the next game they're like let's make a different one and make the whole game about him. And they made Nemesis. And then they never brought Nemesis back ever again. Awesome. Because they're like, that was the character for that game. And I was gonna say that, Resident yeah. Evil treats itself like garbage. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't give a shit. It's, mm -hmm. it's pop schlock bullshit. And the fact that they treated like their, their fucking monster mans mm -hmm. better than this like emotional and, fucking and it would deep make so meaning much... character is silly. And, it, and it's not like it's a psychological story where Mr. X and Leon must do battle. You know what I mean? Like there's the... No, he's a big yeah, monster, yeah. man. Yeah. You shoot with your gun. So the link is even more tenuous and they had more respect for it. That's, that's a you pretty good point. Can you imagine if Nemesis became like the mascot 
and like just started showing up everywhere. Like, oh, Leon has to fight Nemesis again. Wait, I thought I blew him up with a nuke. Like, what happened? Yeah, that would um, suck. I was gonna say that, like, in terms of like, you know, the like the 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 large game company, the big corp that can still produce something with love in it, right? Um, the hopes you have to have is something, I guess, almost like a Street Fighter Six situation where you're like, okay, within this giant company, the people that they put in charge of this project really care about it and are fans of it and understand it from all angles and are people that have been wanting to work on this as a dream project, you know? That's when you're like, okay, within this giant framework, you can get something good out of it because um, the people who are making the decisions care and it shows you know um yeah so with i i don't like again like i would love to see what the konami game division name list even looks like i assume it's yeah, really yeah, right? just a bunch of board members and then everything is just outsourced to to add to add to that like if you look at capcom like as a as a comparison point like there's a level of trust there between the higher ups and these like storied game developers who are who still work at Capcom that is just not present at Konami. Like you see that like we've seen it. Like, you know, oh fuck Kojima, blah blah blah, like all this kind of stuff. Like basically mm -hmm. like pushing him out of the door, like during like the Phantom Pain like development cycle. Mm -hmm. And then it's like and then you and then like compare that to Itsuno coming out on stage mm -hmm. and screaming DMC is back. Like mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. just it's we yeah, do even, it sure even at its but for we do it, yeah. Yeah, yeah even at its worst you have situations where konami was like yeah i don't like this guy let's go make him be a janitor at the fucking health club versus capcom <laughs> in which there are at least they two situations no, I'm just there kidding. are at least two situations of capcom that i know of and that we're like how do we fire this guy i don't know promote him put him in a different part of the company <laughs> and give him more money Send him to that branch over there. Until he fucking gets tired and quits. Yeah, yeah. After yeah. destroying a, a yeah. entire genre. Of that things. happened twice with two different <laughs> it guys. Did. And we don't even have to say anyone's name. <laughs> like we like so you guys is... in the chat could speculate like all you want. Just what's going on over at that branch? Is that smoke? What's happened? Um Why does this a genre of game? that we make for 30 years just kind of fucking suck now and have no content in it. Like, what's going on? I mean, at least we're not we're not on the path that uh, decided to, like... And why does it look so much better now that that guy's gone? <laughs> what? That's what's weird. Going on? Yeah, hey, what? That's crazy. What? You, what? Cr Susie, come on now. I we're didn't say anything. We're a professional podcast. We don't... Very fancy podcast. Yeah. No one. Anyway. Anyway. What? <laughs> oh no! You shouldn't be saying oh, those no. things. Oh why no! Oh, why are you saying that? Why would you? Why would you do that? That's crazy. Ah. Oh, if you want to keep talking about this, I'd have to say it's a no from me. That's a no from me too. <laughs> it looks like I was in. What's that? A fool. Nay. Situation. Oh come on! Oh, that was really that was hard. That was, was oh, that? that's was, not gonna happen. Wasn't there a song that was trending on on TikTok with the oh no 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 oh no 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 oh no oh anyways um uh uh uh, uh with uh at least we don't live in a, in a in a in a timeline where um the Metal Gear Survive situation was a like successful and uh, direction to go in where they could just continue to like ne necromancy their 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 franchise oh yeah no know? that was like hey can we keep metal gear going without no okay we can't no <laughs> like, we absolutely can't all. like at least you know while the staff was still there um anyways what is uh what was you know what the worst part about the the silent hill shit is mm-hmm I have to fucking cover every single one of those in exhaustive detail or else I will never hear the end of it. It's like, true. I have to. I literally have to. That's what's great about uh, my channel is that I haven't even made a Silent Hill 1 video yet, so people don't really expect it from well, me. Well, now you have to wait until they're all out so you have all the context. That's right. 
so I can make uh, retroactive jokes at the Silent Hill 2 remake while I'm talking about the original game in mm-hmm. the video. Wow. Are tw- is Twin Perfect going to come back to life <laughs> as a result of this? Um, no. No, it's not. But still. So there was another game. There's a Silent Hill F. The, easily the most interesting thing uh, there. So really this cool. is... Yeah. Uh, there's a trailer showing off 1960s Japan. Uh, it's written by um, Ryukishi 07, who's the uh, writer for Higurashi. And um, there's a there's a schoolgirl with a bunch of flowers growing out of her, and it's pretty gross. Uh, I don't. I think the word's tryptophobia. Uh, yeah, if you have it, um, fucking don't look at that trailer. Mm-hmm. It's bad. Umi Nekas. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Even if that game is complete garbage, the idea of a Silent Hill game that does not actually take place even in the United States is totally fascinating, and I want to see what the explanation for that is. Same. Yeah. And uh, the Silent Hill theme in a Japanese instrumental oh, it's great. style goes a that was little cool. too hard. That was really like, cool. It goes way too I, hard. I thought that was dope. Yeah. <laughs> but that is exactly the question, though. Like, um,. The, the the weirdness of like a, a Japanese developer interpreting a um, an American town and having that weird filter and that weird flavor to it. Now going back to an actual Japanese story, it's like, okay, that's cool. Why is it Silent Hill related though? You know that that's that's why even use you the know name? what? There is actually a game that has already done this directly. Uh, which is members of Team Silent went over and made for forbi- uh, uh, Siren, and Siren, yeah, Blood Curse specifically because Blood Curse also uses Lotus Hole imagery for its monsters and it takes place with Americans in a Japanese town. Well, Siren is made by the creator of Silent Hill. Uh, yeah, H-O-Koyama. but the one and two suck, so I don't want to talk. <laughs> I don't like them. Can't believe. But um, do any of the Silent Hills beyond three? like actively not involve silent hill no oh well four doesn't but it does okay and uh a little bit of your favorite uh homecoming pat yeah just a little bit home okay. you go there the the implication for uh, but you there's like eight games the implication is that the borders of silent hill are expanding out into middle america but like if if the borders of Silent Hill are expanding all the way out past the west coast into Japan, like it's the end of the fucking world. Like this is the world is done. <laughs> yeah. And Pyramid Head pulls out a samurai sword and <laughs> fucking just gets its katana ready. You say I mean, that, you say but that. that might happen. <laughs> that might actually happen. Pyramid oh Head showing up and just shink. <laughs> <laughs> He's Fuck. already got like a. He's already got like the hakama, like uh, lower half. You know, yeah. like, he's got it. Uh, hate it looks really cool. It, hate it, looks, it while um, thinking it's cool. That's that's the correct response. Yes, yes. I, I think it looks really cool. It looks interesting. Uh, I'm excited to uh, see the game, like the actual game, like play out because that was admittedly a concept trailer. But mm-hmm. yeah, it did. It did remind me a lot of just like Siren. I was like, this is like yeah. Siren, like, like because even Siren, like Blood Curse, like has that like like fungal kind of like growing out of human body mm-hmm. uh, theme going on. So, yeah, I'm I'm that's the one thing where I was like, this looks really cool, you know. <laughs> mm. And oh, damn it! Okay, I was like, oh, I... before we move on, can I trigger Pat real quick? Yeah, hit me. See if you can do it. I'm gonna do it right now. Yeah. Okay. And probably several people in the. In All the right. Chat. I'm ready. Do you think? Uh, are you ready for um, Silent Hill 2's remakes soundtrack to have lyrics added to the songs? You've got to be fucking kidding me. That are me. gonna be right on your nose. <laughs> Wait. Because you what? know they're gonna do it. Oh, they're gonna do it. That's... You know it. Oh. Like. Oh, that. Is there? Is was that a part of the? Did I didn't catch that? Was that a thing in the trailer? No, no, no. That's just me. Okay, that's, that's just her. Like... <laughs> I mean, wife. I'm sad because of my dead wife. 
just full on Snyder style, right on the nose, playing the the the, the script through the music. Um, I mean, there the 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 uh, in three when the the one of the most banger tracks on that soundtrack is the Mongolian throat singing as you walk to the final room. So I'm down for lyrics like that. That's sick. Yeah. Um, Vocals are fine. But I mean, lyrics, Mary uh, Elizabeth McGlynn always has three to six vocal tracks per, mm-hmm. per Silent Hill game. But if, but those vocal tracks are like fucking hidden away. One's always in the credits. And one is in 60% through the game in some emotional state in which the character is like screaming into a floor. Yeah. Uh, any more than that, oh, don't want it. Um, so the the yeah. writer here, because uh, yeah, I was like, I was like, what have I heard this before? And yeah, Umi Neko was um, a there was a fighting game for it that I played, Golden Fantasia. There we go. Okay, I can contextualize this now. 